Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you are new here, welcome. It is Saturday evening, October 16th, the day after my birthday. Um, I'm go going to show you um, a quick grocery haul. Uh, yesterday for my birthday, I ended up just working at the school. I booked the day off from my job at Sobeys. So I did my school job about an hour and a half there, and then um, later on that day, once my daughter was done work in the evening, my family took me out to Denny's for supper and came home and had birthday cake and some presents. So anyway, that's uh, these earrings and the top I'm wearing, you know, these two things, there's another pair of earrings and another blouse were things that my daughter gave me for my birthday. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna turn you around here in a minute. It's Saturday evening now. My uh, friend of mine, took my girlfriend of mine took me out for supper tonight. We went to Boston Pizza, one of my favorites. And I got embarrassed because of course they sang to me there and I might even include that little video in this. Um, I may show you a little bit of some of our Saturday activities, we'll see. But right now I'm going to show you the groceries I got. I stopped at the Real Canadian Superstore on the way home tonight and got a, a load of groceries. A couple things on my list were not there in stock, but it was, you know, 9 o'clock Saturday night too. So there's bound to be a couple things, I guess, not in stock. But I got most of what I needed, and I'll give you a breakdown of the prices as best I can and the points that I earned as well. I got quite a bit of points today, which is great. Um, yeah, so let me turn you around and I will show you what I got. Be right back. The camera's shaking here. It's not very steady right now. But let me turn you around. We'll get started. Okay, so first things first, I got two 45 packs of Cheetos for Halloween. I have some treat bags from Dollarama that I purchased um, previously. Plus, I stopped there tonight and I also got one more 20 pack of treat bags. Um, so I have 80 right now. And with the 20 pack I got at Dollarama tonight, that'll be 100. So um, I might just stick with the 80 or just do 90 because the two, the two boxes of 45 Cheetos. That's 90. I may just do the, I don't know if I'll use that other 20 pack of treat bags or not. You kind of see them, they're sitting off to the side there. Um, I may just do 80 and then just whatever chocolate bars and stuff I have left over, I'll just put loose in case we have extra kids beyond 80. And then that other 20 pack of treat bags that I bought, they're not the same as the other pattern I got in a different shape too. I may just save them for next year, Halloween. I'm not sure. I'm trying to just, if you hear crinkling, I'm just trying to go through my receipt here to see what the prices on everything were, but at any rate, I just bought two boxes of 45 each Cheetos Puffs. They were, um, where are they? Two at $8.97 each, so so $17.94, $8.97 a piece. What I'm thinking is if I do the 80 treat bags and then I have extra chocolates because from the ones I bought at No Frills the other day, I bought four boxes of chocolate bars, plus I have some other candy I already bought. That'll probably be enough. If I do 80, that'll leave me 10 left over. Uh, I could probably take a couple of them in my lunches to work. Plus, as I, I don't know if I've told you or not, but I'm thinking of doing a small care package for a young man from church. He is in Bible school, um, although our the Bible, Bible college he's going to is actually local. Quite often um, in churches I've been in in the past, people have put together uh, student care packages and put them in the mail because, of course, these students are living away from their families and stuff. This young man is actually staying local and going to Bible school local. So technically he has all the comforts of home right at his disposal that he needs. But nonetheless, I thought it might be nice to still do a small care package for him and just to encourage him. So I might put one or two of those in his care package. So if I do 80 treat bags and maybe say two bags of Cheetos in there, you know, and then the other ones, you know, my daughter or I or whoever could just take them in our lunches to work. That's kind of where my thinking is at this point. So they were, as I said, I think I said they were eight ninety seven. Is that what I said? I'm trying to lost track on my receipt already. I believe so. Yes. $8.97. Okay, so on to the other things that were on my offers. Some things, not everything. Garnier Fructis um, Shampoo and Conditioner. I think we might have some conditioner in the house, but we were out of shampoo, so I just, they weren't on sale, but they were on my offers. They were $3.98 a piece, so I got these. I got three different scents. I organized them by shampoo and conditioner. These are the shampoos on the left. This one is a coconut uh, jojoba, I guess how you say it, and macadamia oils. And this one is a apple extract. And that one is a color shield. I guess I should probably be using color shield on it. I should just probably be using that one only since I have color in my hair. But I like the different scents. That, that one there... I'm not sure if you say acai berry. I'm not sure if that's how you say it or not. At any rate, all of these, both shampoos and conditioners, were $3.98 each. 
And as you know, we have birds. You can probably hear our budgies yapping in the background in the next room. We also have two cockatiels. Got two bags of cockatiel seed. I bought some last time, but you know what? They eat a lot. They go through food pretty quickly. Cockatiel seed, you, if you buy them in quantities of two, then they're $5 a bag. So I got two. And I just bought one bag of budgie seed right now. I mean, I know we have two cockatiels and we have seven budgies. So technically, I should have bought more budgie seed. But there's no deal on buying multiples of two or three in the budgie seed. So I just bought one. And periodically, pet supplies will come up on my offers. So I'm kind of holding off on buying a bunch of budgie seed till that happens. It has Because it's been a couple months since that last happened. So it, they're not on my offers currently, pet supplies, but I'm thinking eventually they have to come back on. $6.48 for the budgie seed, $5 per bag for the cockatiel seed. Playtex tampons, obviously there's two females in the house, this house that's self-explanatory. The um, tampons were on my offers, I'm trying to kind of scan on the side here. I only bought one box because they're not on sale, $8.18. I could have deferred them until next week, but you can only defer four offers per week and I already have deferred four. So I just went ahead and got one box, but I'm not going to get more than that right now because they're not on sale. SOS steel wool pads, not on my offers. And I don't even know if I really truly need them right this minute, but they had a sale on. A 10 pack was $1. You know, you can really never have too many of those. I probably should have got more. Tender flake lard, not on my offers. Tender flake pie crusts and pastry, that kind of thing is on my offers. But I have a few frozen pie crusts and I have pie uh, tart shells I believe downstairs in the deep freeze so I'm not buying any more right now plus I am back on my kick of trying to make them from scratch and since the last batch went so well I'm going to persist in trying to make them from scratch so unfortunately the tender flake lard did not count as part of the offers it's just the frozen tart shells and pie crust so I didn't buy any of those didn't get any points on the lard because the lard is not included in that I'm trying to see on this side here if I can find tender flake quickly for you it's I'm probably going to see it after the fact where is it hiding uh, it's like 348, I want to say. I'm not actually. Oh, okay, pardon me, my mistake. 328. That's not bad. Got a package of hot chocolate. I'm planning on using. There's only seven of them in here. I'm planning. It's 398. I'm planning on using most of these, I think, in that care package. I'm looking at the size of the container I got. It's not that big. I don't think I'm going to put the box in there. I may just take the pouches out and put them in. It'll just in the in the name of space. So I got some hot chocolate. No name pickles. These are on my offers. And again, anything that says present is choice is store brand or anything in this case that's yellow packaging with the black label is store brand. I believe these were $2 for the pickles. I could have got more. I think there's like a limit of four on them, but I don't have the shelf space downstairs for four. Plus I have one or two other jars already. So I just got one. I believe I got enough. I think I paid enough, I think, to get... Did I not get points on my pickles? Oh my goodness, maybe I did not. I'm looking at my... Oh yes, I did too. Okay, sorry, my mistake. I'm looking off to the side here to see if I got points. And yes, I did. 1% milk. Um, they usually have 4 liters. 4 liter jugs. They did not. They're, they had 4 liter jugs in stock of every other milk you could think of, but not that. It's more cost effective to buy the 4 liter than it is to buy a 2 liter carton. But... I'm pretty much almost out of milk, and although I'm pretty much the only one that really drinks straight milk in this house, it is no problem for me over a two or three week span to drink a four liter, or even when I use them in baking as well. So it really is better for me to buy a four liter, but because I'm pretty much near out, I just needed to get some, and it would have been even less cost effective to buy a one liter, so I just grabbed a two liter to tide me over for the time being. It's good for only one week, but it won't take me that long to use it. But I can I have one liter of half and half, and it is cheaper for me to spend to buy two half and halves than one, but I don't use it for much. I need the half and half for when I make chicken pot pies. And even at that, I'm because of what I want to do is take the tender flake lard, make another batch of pastry. You can get three two crust pies out of that out of a batch of pastry. Sometimes you can even get a seventh crust, but at, at minimum you get six crusts. That's enough for three two crust two crust pies, whether it's a fruit pie or chicken pot pie. So rather than use the frozen crusts I have, I like to make the crust from scratch. But for each chicken pot pie, you only need about a half a cup or so of this half and half. It's not a lot. So I don't need like okay, this is good. Till October 26th, so it's good for 10 days, but I don't think I wouldn't use two liters in that time. I'll maybe use the one, but I'm not going to use two. So even though it's a little bit more cost effective to buy two, it just didn't make sense for me to wait. I'd be wasting money, essentially, by buying two, because even though they're cheaper per unit by doing that, I wouldn't use them all up in that time. So just got the one. Cucumbers, 
three pack. I made a mistake last week. They were on my offers and I forgot to defer them. Didn't buy them before the offers went. So I goofed. I didn't get any points on them. They're, because they're not on my offers this week. I did not get points on that purchase, but we're out. So I just grabbed some. I think they, I want to say they're like four. Oh, I don't know what they were. 447 or something for the cucumbers now. Yeah, $4.47. So that means they're almost $1.50 a piece now. Usually in summer when produce is really good prices, usually you can get them for a dollar a piece. So that kind of sucks. But in the winter months, that's what happens. Produce tends to go up in price. Potatoes are on my offers right now. So I grabbed a bag. I wanted to get red potatoes. That's my preference. However, um, I didn't see large bags of red potatoes. And again, when you buy big bags of potatoes, it's more cost effective than the little bags. So I got a bag of 20 pound russet potatoes. Because, first off, there was no large bags of red potatoes that I could see. And this 20-pound bag of potatoes was $3.97. $3.97 for 20 pounds of potatoes, I thought was that was just really, really good. So, of course, I'm going to go for that. I think it was $3.97. I'm just kind of looking at my... Uh, I see $3.74, but that was for the... Uh, $3.74 is for the hot chocolate. Pardon me. Potatoes were $3.98. Okay, I was off by one penny, but you know what I mean. It's about $3.98 for 20 pounds is pretty good. And it's the no name brand, but it's also they have, you see, no name, but it also they have a, a label on them that say naturally imperfect potatoes. Sometimes if they're apples, they have the same thing. So I grabbed a bag of these apples because this is an eight pound bag of apples. And they were, where were they? They were $5.98, limit of four, but I don't have the fridge room to put four bags, 32 pounds of apples in there. Uh, technically, they don't have to go in the fridge, but at the same time, we're just coming out of fruit fly season right now, so I don't really want to leave them on the floor or in my basement. Even if the bags are sealed, you know, if there's still some fruit flies kicking around, that will draw them. Even if they're in a sealed bag, they fruit flies somehow seem to know. We're almost past that, like the wasps and stuff are finally dying here, but it's been such a warm fall that there actually are still some fruit flies and wasps outside. So I just don't want to take a chance. I, we don't need more than this like an eight pound a bag of apples right now will do us you know if we want to take them in our lunches or make a fruit salad or even if I want to make a pie if I wanted to make a bunch of pies that'd be different but I just don't have the fridge room or really any room even on my floor in the basement necessarily to like store a bunch of bags of apples like I don't have a cold room necessarily to put that stuff in so one bag will do it was $5.98 on sale so really good price on that same thing at the potatoes $3.97 or three ninety eight, whichever it was, but they're very good prices. 20 pounds of potatoes, 8 pounds of apples. Got a small container of blueberries. I forget how much these were. I'm trying to see off to the side. They weren't that expensive. I'm trying to scan up here. Where was it? Oh, I'm missing. It's got to be on here somewhere. The minute I pass, I see. Oh, blueberries, four ninety nine. So not the greatest price for blueberries, but not bad. Got green grapes and red grapes. They are not on my offers. Apples are not on my offers currently. Blueberries have never been on my offers. Grapes sometimes are, uh, but they're not this week. They were two ninety four dollars piece for clamshell grapes. These are, uh, what is it, a two pound? Two pounds each. Red and green grapes. Sugar snap peas, um, $7.99. They, are, they never, have never been on my offers, but they're good. I like them. Bananas are not currently on my offers, but just we are out. A little green, but that give them a day or two. They'll be fine. Uh, they're 66 cents a pound or 67, I think I want to say. Just trying to see if I can see. They are $2. Now, these Pringles, these guys here, the smaller containers were on sale for $1.97. Limited to so okay, and they didn't really have a lot of flavors to choose from, so I grabbed two spicy chicken. Um, I'm thinking I might put one in that care package just because you know it's a limited offer, and I'm thinking John, my friend, might just like that one. So that's what I did. And these ones back here, these bigger ones, now I gotta find them on the list. Okay, the bigger ones were $2.97. However, there was I saw it on here, I'm trying to read this. Um, on, not on the smaller Pringles, but on the large one, there was an in-store points offer of 500 points each. So I earned a thousand points on these two. So I got two barbecue again, like you could mix and match the flavors. Unfortunately, in these larger ones, even though like they were on sale for 297, which is an okay price because it's the mega size, but more importantly, you got like 500 points a, a container. So you got a good, you, you know, it was a sale price, so an okay sale price, but you got bonus points. 
So it was very, very hard. There was no traditional flavor. There was a lot of flavors were picked over. So I just went with two barbecue, earned myself a thousand points right there. Unfortunately, the smaller ones were not, didn't have an in-store points offer at all, but they were on sale for one ninety seven. So I went with that and there was a limit of two on the cheaper ones. So I think there was a limit of four on the big ones, but again, I didn't see any other flavors that were appealing. They're very picked over. Now I did get a points offer for uh, 7,500 bonus or 7,500 points if you spent $20 in Pepsi products. So what I did is I bought two cubes. I bought a regular Pepsi and a diet Pepsi and then a six pack of, is that Pepsi Max or is Pepsi, no, Pepsi Zero, my mistake, Pepsi Zero. So these were, where were they on my list? Very hard to do this in this, off to the side. Eight forty nine for the cubes. And... Yeah, so eight forty nine for the cubes and the Pepsi Max. That is Pepsi Max. This is on my receipt. This is Pepsi Zero on the label, but the receipt says Pepsi Max was four sixty eight. So I spent eight forty nine and eight forty nine and four sixty eight. That is over the twenty dollars. So I earned the seventy five hundred points. However, I am going to have to submit a points inquiry because there was an in store offer. I believe it was only two hundred points. I took a picture of the sign, but nonetheless, two hundred points is two hundred points. It all adds up. That was for the six packs. There was a picture. I took a picture of it underneath the six packs. There was a sign that said 200 points. So I got the 7,500 points for the $20, but there should have been 200 points for the six packs. I'm going to have to submit a points inquiry. It's not really a lot of points, but it, it, it's the principle of thing. It all adds up, right? So something was missed. Tostitos, not on my offers, but it was cheaper if you bought these in quantities of three. They were 266 if you bought them in quantities of three. And we use these all the time, dipping in salsa, have them put them in taco salad or I make nachos where I put um, salsa on them and then melt cheese on top of them so that's a favorite so that's what I got at Superstore let me give you a breakdown here so you can see by the Pringles I got a thousand points so I did ten dollars cash back I need to get wanted to have just a small bit of cash in my purse uh, so I just wanted ten dollars cash back so I think that meant that, yeah, my subtotal would have been 159.05, and then I did the 10 cash back. Oh, sorry, it's 157.26 and 169.05 after the taxes. So that's where we're at. I'll give you the breakdown though. I got 7,500 points for the Pepsi soft drinks, 800 points for the potatoes, 400 points for the pickles. This does not want to stay in focus. Here we go. Tampons, Playtex Feminine Products, which is a tampon, 1,600 points. Um, uh, Garnier Fructis, 4,800 points. So I had 169,05. So down here, those points that I just broke down up there for you, that totaled 15,100 points. And the in-store offers, it says 100 or 1,000 points. That is the Pringles. So that gave me 16,100 points that I earned today for a closing balance. I believe that says it's kind of hard to read that one digit, but I think it's 67,000 824, I believe it what it was, or 67,924, I'm not sure. But it, either way, it's 67,000, almost 68,000 points. And again, you can redeem in store for in $10 increments. So I currently have $60 in PC Optimum points to redeem in store for groceries if I so choose. And if I get, if that's either the 67,000, that's either 894 or 9. 924. I can't really read that properly as I showed you, but the missing 200 points on the six pack of Pepsi Max, that will bring me to an even 68,000 points. And there's a couple of things on my offers I did not get, like frozen french fries and frozen corn, no name. Both of those are no name products. And I have some, like I don't think I really need to buy no, more no name frozen corn or frozen vegetables, but I could. Um, and certainly the no name french fries I use because we make chicken strips and fries all the time. So if I were to go get a couple of those, get a bag of french fries and a bag of frozen vegetables, whether it be peas, corn, mixed vegetables, whatever, that will put me up. Like if I get the, six, the missing 200 points, that'll put me at 68,000. Go get a couple bags of frozen french fries and maybe a bag of frozen vegetables later this week. That'll put me at 70,000, which will put me right at the $70 point value mark. And that's good. I'm right back on track to saving them up where I want to be. Now, I'm going to show you quickly what I got at Dollarama. It's not all that terribly much, but... Again, I bought another 20 pack of treat bags. These are a different shape and style and different design than the other ones I got. I have four 20 packs, so it's slightly different shape, completely different pattern. I thought it was a little cuter, so I may or may not use these. I don't know. I may just stick with the first four 20 packs I have and just do 80 and save those for next year. I don't know, but they're only, a, I think they were, what, a dollar or no? 
$1.25 it says, so that's fine. This little container here I thought I may use for that care package for the fellow at church. I thought it was kind of nice. Um, this was $4. And they have some of their gift bags out. They don't have all of the gift bags out for Christmas yet, but they have a few. So I grabbed a couple of this size. I use a lot of this size. These were two for $1.25. Back in the day, they used to be two for a dollar, but whatever. They're still very inexpensive, much cheaper than buying them at Superstore or Walmart. They have some nice styles of gift bags. They always do. Lots of tins and like cartons and gift boxes already too, but I mean, it's very early. They will have even more as time goes on. And then three of these baskets, I want to say, whoops, they're coming apart here. I'm going to fall apart here on me. I can't remember how much this one was. These were only $3. These are actually larger than this other container. But I think because these are just basic baskets, whereas this is a little bit fancier. But these ones are only $3. Now, what I use those for, I've talked in previous videos about how I had a relative, an uncle that used to be a deputy fire chief. And he was like a second dad to me. And he was a de deputy fire chief. He passed away in 2013 at age 98. And so I've established a tradition of taking home baking and some of my homemade jams in his memory on Christmas Eve and on his birthday in August. And this year I also added an Easter delivery. And since they have some of these out already, I grabbed three Christmas colored baskets. Usually I do, I go to the two fire halls closest to me, but on his birthday this summer, I went to three fire halls. So I grabbed three baskets just in preparation. And even though these look like big baskets, trust me, I fill them. They are full. By the time I throw some muffins and loaves and cookies and stuff, they are full. I usually put some homemade jams in too, but I often put those in gift bags. And if I do that, to get two jams will fit in one of these bags. So I'm by no means done. Like I'll have to buy a couple more gift bags just for the season because I use them to give to lots of people. But I just happen to like those. And there'll be a lot more varieties and patterns out to choose from as the season comes closer. But I grabbed those for now. But I got these baskets. I'm going to put them aside. This one I'll work on for the care package. I'm not going to have it done by tomorrow to take to this Sunday service because it's 10 o'clock at night. And my intention was to put some homemade cookies in there. And I'm not baking at this hour of the night. Ain't happening. So let's show you. And I had, I apparently left these. It says that I have two rolls of cellophane on this receipt. I left those in my friend's car. So she's going to drop them off to me tomorrow at some point. So no big deal. They're $1.25. One was clear. One was printed with some stars on it. Three Christmas baskets at $3 a piece. Another basket, the brown one, was $4. And the haul loot bags, that's the Halloween one. Oh, well, that's not haul, that's Halloween, I guess I should say. $1.25. And the Christmas bags, 63 cents a piece, minus ones, because they're two for $1.25. I spent $20.16 after tax at, um, at Dollarama. That is our... Dollarama is our dollar store here. We also have Dollar Tree... I know what some of you in the U.S., you guys have family dollar. We do not have that here. So that is what I got. I'm going to come back shortly here. I'll turn you around and maybe I'll insert some clips of what we did earlier today. Uh, my daughter is an equestrian and I've also taken up a few riding lessons too, although I have not had anywhere near as many as she has. And right now she's been off of her lessons for a few months because of things being shut down here and there and stuff and because she's so busy at work. But she's trying to get back into her lessons, but she's also looking at part boarding a horse somewhere. Um, if you know what part boarding is, basically it's somebody else's horse that the owner does not have time to exercise the horse and ride the horse as much as they would like. And so they hire somebody else, basically, you basically pay to rent their horse and you go and you groom their horse and walk them and ride them and take care of them and make sure the horse gets some exercise. And it's, you know, the owner is too busy to do it. So this way the horse is getting the needed exercise and they're also earning a little bit of money by doing it too, because somebody else is paying for the benefit of using their horse. So she went to uh, meet a horse today and rode for a little bit. And the owner even let me ride for a short time at the end. Or I borrowed my daughter's helmet and I got on and I was scared because this horse is 17 hands high. He's very tall. But and my daughter led me around the arena too because we were outside. The terrain was muddy and uneven and I'm nowhere near as experienced a rider as she is. But it was fun. Once I got over my fear and got in that saddle because I hemmed and hawed about it for a good while, it was fun. So I may attach that at the end of this so you can see what our Saturday activities were. And my friend took me out to Boston Pizza tonight for my birthday supper and I got royally embarrassed because they sang happy birthday to me. And I may throw that 30 second video in on the end of this too, just so you can see the fun that I had today. At any rate, I'm going to attack that on, but this is as much as I'll probably narrate this video. So I'm going to end my talking here. And I'll throw those other clips in and get this uploaded overnight, hopefully with any luck. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. 
do subscribe if you are new. And of course, you're always welcome to leave comments letting me know what other kinds of videos you'd like to see. One of the things I wanted to do was a cooking video or baking video. Um, I make a recipe for a banana eggnog bread. And I have seen, even though it's only mid-October, as of two weeks ago already, I've seen eggnog in the grocery stores here. I was going to pick some up tonight and then do a video with that. But these bananas are not ripe yet anyway, and Superstore was out of eggnog. All, I know my store has it, so I may have to pop in there, but I typically avoid going in there on my days off just because it's my day off. So when I have ripe bananas and when I get some eggnog, I will do a banana eggnog bread. But if there's anything else you would like to see, whether it be cleaning videos, cooking videos, what have you, please do leave a comment down below. And again, subscribe if you're new. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed my content. And we will see you next time. It's 10 o'clock at night. Apparently I have some laundry to do because my daughter needs her uniform for tomorrow morning. And I didn't do that yet, so I'm going to go fold laundry, do some laundry, watch some TV and relax, and then hopefully sleep if I don't have insomnia, and go enjoy church tomorrow morning. So, hope everybody's having a great weekend, and thank you for those who commented on my last video wishing me a happy birthday. I had a good day yesterday, aside from the getting older part. That part always sucks, but being fussed over is always fun. So have a great night, everybody, and a great weekend, and we'll see you next time.